Hi everyone, this is Gary DeTonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I wanted to tell you about the new update to Lightroom, Lightroom CC 2015.8. They've added some new camera support and new lens support as usual. They claim they've made it a bit faster, but probably not. But the main thing that they added is something called the reference view. And this can help you to sort of match your processing between two photos. So let's head on over to Lightroom and see what we can do with the reference view. So here I have a photo that I've already processed. And let's say I want to create other photos that are similar, sort of in the same style. So to do this, uh, first of all, I have to make sure that I have this toolbar right here. Because you can see here I have my loop view. I have now the new reference view. And I have, of course, the before and after view. So if I wanted to get to the reference view, I can hit Shift R or just click on this button. But some people may not see this toolbar by default. So if you're not seeing the toolbar, you can just press the T key and that toolbar will disappear or reappear. That's how we can move that toolbar around. All right, when you click on a photo, that's going to be the active photo in the editing window here. The active side is the one we're going to work on. And then um, you're going to take the photo that's already done. Oops, and you're going to drag that to the reference side. All right. So now this is the photo that's already been processed. This is the one we want to try to match. Okay. Of course, now you can do all of your editing try different things to try to make it match. Now, in this case, I'm really not going to take all the time that it would take to try to make these two photos match, but you get the idea. So the only other thing about this reference view that I wanted to tell you about was that this little lock here, it doesn't really lock the photo from having adjustments done to it. If you were to put two versions of the same photo up here, when you moved one slider, it would change both of them. So that's not what it locks. So when it's unlocked, you'll notice that if I go to another part of Lightroom, like the library module, and then come back, it loses the reference image. So I'd have to redrag it, redrag it over. Um, however, if I click the lock on and then go somewhere else, like the library module, and then come back to develop, you'll see that the reference photo will stay there. Right? So that may save you some time if you know you have to hop around to different locations to do different tasks. So if I click this, I can end up back in loop view and it is now still showing me the photo that I was editing, not the one that I was using for reference. So it's an interesting new tool. It's something that may help you again try to match uh, your processing across many photos. So give it a try and let me know what you think. I hope this video helped you. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends. Again, this has been Gary Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com.